Cancerians, I am back from outer space. It is magic to human edition tarot. Let's get into it. This is your annual reading for the rest of the year, 2019. Obviously, I um, can't speak for exactly what happened for you in January, but we're going to just get a quick overview. And definitely apologize to you guys for not being here in the beginning of the year, but if you are new, Magic Team is your hero. Like, share, and subscribe below. If you are back, thank you so much. Love you, my little crusty crabs. Let's get into it. So we're going to use the Angel Tarot today, and we're going to get a little bit of a loose overview of the entire year for you. And we're just going to see what's going on in life, love, and career. Okay. So for the first half of the year, or for the first quarter of the year, looks like January was not really time to move on yet. You were still holding on. You have a Six of Swords in the reverse here, so something that you were still in the muck. And I see this horse here. It kind of reminds me of a uh, never-ending story when Atreyu was stuck in the muck and um like the bog of despair where i don't know where he is wherever the mucky quicksand place the horse and he can't get out and then um you know he's trying to get the horse out of the mud and the horse is like no he's like live and that was you you just weren't you weren't ready to move on you were stuck in the muck of something with the six of swords in reverse Okay, moving into this month, you have a king of wands. It's really good. So you're feeling a lot more passionate, feeling a lot more ready to face the day. And basically I've had a turnaround going from this blue to this red here. Emotionally. Okay, and then you have a unity. So you and the people around you are coming together in brand new ways. But also, there's something old-fashioned about time together. There's, like, some religious connotations here. So maybe you're meeting with people in groups, whether it's a family thing or a work thing, or you may have, like, a social group or something that you're a part of, or you may be getting to a new level in your work or in your, um, just, like, in your neighborhood and your community where you're, they're starting to see you with a little bit more respect. And that goes along with this uh, King of Wands here, so that's great. Okay, so that's going to be rounding out the rest of, like, the winter into the spring for you. For the spring, um, once again, I see this theme of things not being over, like a relationship that's not over until the family sings, or um, a disappointment that, like, you're just not ready to be fully disappointed. You're ready to still turn it around because you have a Five of Cups here in the reverse. Okay, and earth sign that's just chafing you you are not happy with them for some reason they're in the reverse here or they might not be happy with you they are usually somebody that's pretty generous but to you they don't give a lot um usually they're professional with you they're mouthy they're annoying they're like they tend to pass the buck on their responsibilities and they're also not practical so you're just really not seeing eye to eye, to eye with them and whatever new found respect you're getting in this month when you move into spring, it's going to kind of annoy them that they don't have that same sort of status that you do. Okay, and then you have a chariot in the reverse. So, you seem to be at a stalemate with this person. Cause so, this person could be like a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that definitely has something to do with your money. If it's not a job, then you guys might have something um, in common financially. Or it could be in a marriage or a relationship. Okay, and then we have here a seven of wands. Let's see. That's a sense of fighting, definitely. But you're taking the taking the advantage and taking the lead, and you're defending what you believe in. You're not going to let this person trample you. As you go into the summertime, this is where things turn around again for you because you're coming into your birthday months, the weather's getting warmer, you're doing more of what you love to do. Maybe you like to be outside. Some of you guys, I'm getting like you're super into like cookouts, things of that nature, beaches, surfing, swimming, 
um, you know, kicking back, having a beer with your homies, that's going to be your summer. Of course, that's summertime for everybody, but for Cancerians, you know, there's just special unity with the beach. So make sure you get out to the beach, to the ocean, the lake house, whatever. Okay, and then a six of wands in the reverse. So a tough loss, it looks like some midsummer probably will jolt your party spirit. But let's see here. Hmm. Again, I'm seeing a relationship with an earth sign because this is a knight of the, of earth in reverse. A relationship with an earth sign that seems to be like a, a theme for you that's kind of difficult. They prove to be a little bit disloyal here. They do something that's not. You just kind of find yourself being disappointed with this person over and over again. And kind of for some of you guys, I'm seeing that this is you definitely coming to the end of your patience with them. However... You guys tend to have that fighting spirit where you really just do not want to give things up. So if you are in an abusive relationship or in some sort of relationship where the other person can't get clean, can't come up with child support, whatever it is, can't help you raise your kids or pay the bills, then this might be the end of your relationship coming into the, the, uh, the fall. Yeah, two of cups in the reverse, seven of water in the reverse. So feeling like you don't have a lot of options because you're disappointed when this two of cups spills over. Yeah, this two of cups here which appeared in the reverse so for some reason a disappointment with this person not seeing eye to eye anymore a heartbreak but in the end the justice card so there's definitely some sort of cycle that begins down here you're not wanting to let go of a relationship or or of an issue and then finally at the end of the year a whole year later Going into the last month or so of 2019, justice is served. Could also involve Libra. Fair and just decisions, what you know being right. like So you being vindicated and validated. I'm also getting for you guys some, some of the, some of you guys like may not want to give up a relationship or may not want to give up. Excuse me. So sorry. <laughs> may not want to give up. Uh, whatever crusade it is, but in the end, what will prevail is going to be in, the, in your best interest. So whether or not you are successful in this campaign and um, of maintaining a relationship, if this is with the earth sign, or even this could be like a financial thing. Um, if those doors seem to be closing on you, if you seem to have a work relationship that you just keep seeing this person in a worse and worse light, more of like a... Um, seeing their immature side then by the end of the year it doesn't matter because you're going to be the one that gets the job that they had it's for some of you guys or if it's a relationship or if it's a, a, a legal thing then the outcome is just going to be like you don't have a say in that because at the end the decision is with somebody else that's why the justice card is sort of like an external this like falling angel because it's kind of coming to your rescue and it's fate it's like the wheel of fate has has ceased to turn there all right y'all and, uh, you know, come to a stopping point. So, Cancerians, Deuces, Magic Team, Magician, Tarot, like, share, subscribe, and let me know below if anything did resonate with you. Today's Thursday, February 7th, 2019. Have a good year.